Good morning. Welcome to Pastor John's Fireside Chat. It's Monday, May 18th. I hope that you're doing well. I'd like to share with you today a thought from Psalm chapter 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff. They comfort me. I will often tell a story at a funeral about Paul Eisenger, and If you don't know that name, he's a professional golfer. And a few years ago, he was diagnosed with cancer, and he realized at that time that everything he had accomplished in his golf career meant absolutely nothing if he didn't know where he was going after he died. And so he started going to a Bible study on the pro golf circuit, and he met a Bible teacher named Larry Moody, who once said, we think that we're living in the land of the living and we're moving toward the land of the dying. And the opposite is true. We're living in the land of the dying, but we're moving toward the land of the living. Now he's exactly right. David understood that truth. At times, we get glimpses of that truth. As wonderful as this life can be, it's still a life that's broken. It, we're living in the land of the dying where there is pain and suffering and death. One day that will be no more because of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But until that time, we continue to live in the land of the dying. The good news is Jesus is the one who brings us through the valley of the shadow of death. Whether it is a pandemic, whether it is an economic crisis, whether it is other types of illnesses or diseases or broken relationships, all those things bear testimony to the fact that this life is temporary. But there is a life that is permanent. It is a life that is filled with eternal bliss and it's ours as a gift. That's why Jesus Christ came into this world to suffer, to die, and to rise again. I pray that as you journey through the valley of the shadow of death, you will remember that the one who gives you a glorious future the one who died for you and rose again so that you could be his forever is also the one who walks beside you through this life. And he will be faithful to get you through so that you can receive that gift of eternity that he has prepared for you. Have a great day in our Lord Jesus Christ.